Hi, I am Saurabh Kesri. I live in Deogar, Jharkhand, India. I am a dancer and choreographer and I have my own studio, Miradi Dance Studio. Hi, I'm Courtney Delgadillo. I live in Santa Barbara, California and um, I work at a bank here. I like running and I am a mother. Courtney and me, I have been a long distance relationship since like one year complete. In about August of 2019, I came across Sarm's profile on Instagram. She is friend of my childhood friend. So one day she texted me my messenger to talk about something the India. I just thought I'm, he was just so handsome and I thought I'm going to talk to him asked him about India because at that point in my life I was interested in moving there. So we are starting talking, talking like slowly, slowly we talk more. We follow each other on Instagram. I don't know, I just started really becoming attracted to him and falling in love with him. Um, he's just so pas passionate about his dance studio and his kids and um, his students. And, um, you know what he does and, and we are good friend special friend she has some feeling for me but I don't have then one day she proposed me I love you but that time I don't have any feelings for her and, um, I told him very early on that um, I liked him and he said I don't have time for feelings um, I'm so busy with my dance studio and can't think about that right now. And it was true. I mean, he's working from, you know, 5, 6 in the morning to 9, 10 at night, just classes back to back. Um, so I understand. It's very hard to, like, say no, because he's my friend. Then it's going slowly, slowly going on. We are talk, we are video call. COVID-19 happened and we just started getting closer and closer. Um, lockdown happened over there, quarantine happened over here. We just had a lot more time just by video chatting. And um, then uh, he started going into a pretty bad depression with the studio being off due to COVID and I was really there for him, um, listening to him and, and just doing anything I can to you know, support him and keep his spirits up. Then one day my father had a heart attack and that time it's very bad time for me, very hard time for me, like I'm very nervous and go to the hospital. He had to go far away to um, another hospital, so he had surgery and this was really hard for him. He was in, the, um, in a hotel alone for hours and I just kind of stayed with him and kept him company and helped him throughout this whole ordeal. That time, every second, every hour, every day, she stay for stay with me. Video call. She order for me food. I'm wearing the one cloth in three days, but she order me for the clothes. Then I realize after my father's surgery, like she, like I have some feeling for her. And then in July, 2020. Um I think some other guy started being interested in me and Sarb knew this because I told him everything and we were best friends and then he started getting jealous and I'm like, I'm like why are you jealous? Like, we're just friends. And I called Courtney and said, hi, I have feeling for you and, and like I love you. <laughs> like I can't, I can't express this feeling. This is very like miracle for me. Then we are come to the relationship in August 2, 2020. Will be my girlfriend. And I was so excited. I'm like, this is what I've been waiting for. Like I've been waiting a year now and just loving this man and growing closer with him. And now like you finally feel something back. And I just thought, okay, that's it. I'm gonna put my all into this and we are going to virtual day. We are excitement, like so much excitement. We're doing something special for us. I'm in a long distance relationship, but I'm not feel like 
like i feel always see like in my heart we are we are like many time distance but we manage celebrate holidays together my holidays his holidays we plan family trips together we celebrate birthdays together it's just like we're you know in the same city but we're not I'm not saying the long distance relationship is like so bad or boring. No, it's every day so exciting. We poke each other, we fun each other, we smile each other, we fight each like so much. And In February of 2021 on Valentine's Day, he got down one got down on one knee during our date and proposed to me. And I accepted of course, like I want to marry this man who's the love of my life. And here's the ring. Yeah, I love her. And this 14 Feb, like Valentine's Day, I officially propose her, like sitting by me, and I say I love you. You wanna marry me? Our relationship has been going really strong. Um, you know, I talk to his family, I talk to his mom every day, um, I talk to his dad on WhatsApp because he's working a lot more and isn't at home all the time. Um, when I'm able to talk to the mom. Mom blesses me every day. She tells me to take Sarah. She tells me to come to India. Um, you know, his brothers are very close with me as well. And um, you know, his niece and nephew. And um, we all have a very good relationship. And my parents have talked to him a few times on FaceTime. And um, they're still getting to know him a little bit more as well. Good to me. Now I'm so happy and I have so many words I can't express right now. Story, story. Thank you. You know, give you a glimpse in our life and um, maybe shed some light on long distance relationships and the struggles and also joys and how special they can be. Um, welcome to our life.